All right, I'm here with the very relaxed, very beautiful, very talented <laughs> girls from the dish, the North Shore dish, Boston, Boston's North Shore go-to dining and eating, anything to do with food, blog, as far as I'm concerned. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves? I'm Jill Rose. And I'm Kristen Nyberg. And Kristen Nyberg. And you guys live uh, pretty centrally in the North Shore. And... Uh, and I would like to know how long you guys have been blogging. It's a year and a Just half. over a year, November. So it was a year in November, but this past November. And how did it come about? Um, Jill had been living in our hometown for, we grew up together and have known each other since fourth grade. And Jill had moved back to our hometown maybe 13 years ago. And then I moved back to the North Shore just over two years ago. And what happened was I would keep calling Jill to ask her, um, where do you go for this? Where's, what's a good fish market? What's, where, you know, we want to go out to eat that's not too expensive. And the uh, resources, we just didn't find a lot online. Like I'm big into Chowhound or the Boston.com reviews, that kind of thing. And I'll just, you know, the North Shore seems to be seriously overlooked on those venues. Yeah, like downtown Boston. And, you know, and there's Newton, a little bit. Things. There's, there's a some. Few and North Shore people on Chowhound talking about North Shore places. It's not that it's not there at all, but there's not a lot. And when we saw how little there really was, we said this is something that could do well. And uh, we just started having so much fun with it. And expanding it, you know, we started with just talking about restaurants, and then we realized that um, people are interested in anything to do with food. If yeah. they're interested in eating out, really, and really, it was just an excuse to go out to dinner. <laughs> to get our <laughs> food to dinner. <laughs> that's the the truth. truth comes out. <laughs> that the is truth, truth comes out. And it worked. It, it worked. worked too. But yeah, so we decided, okay, we'll just write about our experiences. That we're not setting ourselves up as professional yeah. restaurant critics or anything like that, but exactly. more just to share our experiences and information mm -hmm. so that other people could gain the benefit of that. I find when you have a passion and you have a little bit of tech, tech you know, you, you have to be a little bit of savvy, but you don't really necessarily, if you're willing to, to sit down and learn how these blogs work and stuff like that, you don't have right. to be a genius. But, I mean, when you're passionate about it and you keep at it, it seems, you know, but there's, there's, there's more than just that, though. You have to promote it a little bit, right? Yeah, we have to. And you guys that. promote it through Twitter? That's right. What's your Twitter right. username? It's North Shore Dish. North Shore Dish. So if anybody yeah. that's on Twitter, you can uh, Twitter find when you guys up. North Shore Dish. Now, every time you guys do a post, you, you pretty much we tweet. pin that's, it on your tweet, right? That's and right. And we also use Twitter for events. I and mean, we'll do events posts on the blog as well. If there's a bunch of stuff coming up, that makes a great post. Mm -hmm. But if there's just a one-off or we want to remind someone, don't forget this Friday night is something in Salem, Twitter is perfect for that. Yeah. Um, Kristen does all the tweeting because yeah. it's just hard for two people to do it at once, so Kristen yeah. does all of that. She also does all the photography and she created the blog. Um, I'm a writer by profession, so I do a little bit more of the writing, um, but Kristen writes as well. But it, it just was a great... Um, yeah, I have, I have more of it. I have a design background. I went to art school many, low those many years ago. Yeah. And your, your photography, like it's your macro, you know, what it, on the food and stuff is, is awe inspiring. I, oh. I, I, I love, I mean, <laughs> no, no, really. I mean, you, you capture it. I, do you bring equipment to light that, light that, or are you just using the settings on the camera? No, to we're talking, those? no, we're, we're stealth. stealth. We're talking stealth. iPhone. We're talking iPhone. No, actually. you lie. Yeah. Those are not iPhone pictures. Well, I'm going to throw myself off the bridge if you're taking those pictures with me. Yeah, most of them are iPhone pictures. It's funny. At something so. where we don't have to be quiet about it. Uh, we can. I have other cameras too, but uh, that's like if we go to a market, we oh just go God, ahead and tell so them good. what we're doing. Yeah. But in a restaurant, all all of the food photos that would be taken at a restaurant, we're doing uh, secretly. Yeah, because you don't want to have to be covert. So you're going almost that. like Phantom Gourmet style. Yeah. Well, you want to. You want to. You want a true want representation. Extra treatment. Exactly. Exactly. You want a true representation of yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And it's not like I said. It. You know, we're not. We're not super sleuthing or anything mm -hmm. like that, and there will be instances where we'll go someplace and and not write about it because yeah. it you know there's. And we were talking earlier. You you 
you're not afraid. You will write about the whole experience, good and bad. Right. That's right. On Good Morning Gloucester, like if I, if this, if I go to a restaurant, and I have a bad meal. It just doesn't it show doesn't up. Doesn't show up, yeah. Because I'm local, and it's all about you know, it's just we local can and stuff like it, that. There's there we has totally been there has that. been times when you know we've gone and thought maybe we sort of get a feeling that these guys are good, but our experience wasn't great, so we won't write about it. We'll give mm -hmm. them the benefit of the doubt and yeah. maybe go back again. Yeah. Um, but they're then they usually close. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. But, true. Uh, true. That but has there's, happened. you know, it's it's also there. Are, there are times when, or there are good restaurants, but some of the stuff, you know, maybe geez, that steak was overcooked, or it, you know, so we're saying overall this place is great, but X, Y, and Z were, yeah, were or not. it may be good but overpriced. Yeah, and we're definitely going to say that. You guys love doing it, don't you? We do. Yeah, yeah we you do. have to love to do it. To, to be we love kids. food and we love this area, and this area has so many wonderful places. It has a lot more upscale places now than it used to. Oh yeah, the North but Shore course, has totally exploded. Yeah, but yeah. you know, covering pubs and covering great little out of the way places Listen, I, is so much fun. And yeah. like diners, you know, that kind of. I like yeah. I like the real low rent. Yeah, yeah. You know, spoon. greasy spoons, yeah. diners, breakfast, that kind of thing. All right, here's a question for you. Uh, each each separately, I want you guys to answer this separately. Okay. What restaurant on the North Shore to you is one of the best unknown restaurants that everybody should go check out? Best unknown. unknown. Like, you know, that you think that deserves, uh, like, more fanfare than it gets. Because say, they really I, do, they hit on all levels. I would say Bella Verona in Salem. It's right next to... You took the, mine. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad I could think of one. Bella Verona. So what is it about? What it's they, it's what right they next to the Hawthorne Hotel, and it's very small, mm -hmm. um, and it's very authentic. Um, authentic the, what? The, it's Italian, Italian, and the family is from Italy, as far yeah. as we know. Mm -hmm. um, and the prices are very good, and the food is very good. I mean, it's not as upscale as, like, the Grapevine, which does a great job, mm -hmm. but we just love it there. It is small, and... Um, they're just lovely there. Mm -hmm. They're just so and friendly, the and they're so glad you're there. Yeah. And they'll, you know, they bring over the menu specials on a blackboard and explain them all to you. And, and it's usually this gorgeous, uh, you know, young waiter in this wonderful hey, accent. Oh, now we know. Now it comes out. It's, it's very romantic, though. Yeah. It's a nice little romantic nice spot. The lighting is great, and um, the prices really are good. Yeah. And you don't hear a lot about it. It's a great little mm -hmm. spot. Yeah, turn. Um, I'm gonna mention two. Okay. Uh, <laughs> You're good. Uh, one is uh, for takeout and sandwiches, Manhattan sandwich and Marblehead. Yeah, I love it there. Awesome, awesome deli style, like New York deli style sandwiches. Mm -hmm. um, With the coleslaw and the Russian dressing. Yeah, and they're like the Boston, bread. the Boston Club. The real deal. That's really yeah. they have awesome, awesome sandwiches. And they have really good egg salad. Yeah. And, um, I love egg salad. They're super I mean, I like egg salad, you but can't is it get something good egg different salad. than egg salad? Well, yeah, you cannot get good egg salad up here. I'm <laughs> telling you. All right, I'm going to take your word. <laughs> the other thing is, is I should mention is Mildred's, because Mildred's is awesome. Oh, yeah. And it's inland. It's only and open. You would never think you to go You would never think there. to go in there ever. It's this little. Do you have little an address up corner. your head? Or it's well, on I'll Lewis have to Street. It okay. Is it the corner of. I want to say 45, but I could be making that up. We have it on the blog. Okay. Look it up on North Shore Dish. There but go. they're only they're a breakfast place, and they're only open on the weekend. Yeah. They're like little dinery kind of thing. Uh, the theme is um, classic movies, which is close dear to both of our hearts. Yeah. And so all of the decor is classic movies, and they have TVs that they show movies in their entirety. So they just oh, run cool. through movies with no commercial. So you could sit at the thing and have your coffee. The chairs have the names of movie different stars on movie them. stars. Wow. It's it's a lot of fun and excellent breakfast. Really terrific food. It's not just your typical. I mean, they have regular breakfast food, but then they have quite a few specials like a wild mushroom omelet, and they have pumpkin pancakes with interesting stuff yeah. like nut butter and everything. All right, we can find it at North Shore Dish. Is that dot WordPress or do you own the domain? Dot com. We own the domain, so it's yeah. dot com. North Shore Dish dot com. Thanks, guys, so much for coming. Thanks, Jerry.